here we go then. What we're going to do, we're going to give this guy a leak down. In order to do a leak down, we're not going to spray all sorts of stuff around and try to fire the engine to see if it's going to misfire or anything like that. We're going to stop wasting all of our chemicals and we're going to uh, detect it by taking the air out of the carter. When you take the air out of the carter, that simulates what's going on when you got a vacuum leak. And then we just have to see where it's coming in. So, in order to take the air out of the carter, what you need to do is you need to have her up the top dead center. You need to take the exhaust off. You have to block the exhaust. In order to block the exhaust, what we're going to do is we're going to make a plug for it. And we're going to take a piece of this uh, foamy yoga mat floor tile stuff. What we're going to do is we're going to cut a nice disc of it. It's with a pair of scissors. There we go. With a hole down the middle of it. We need a pair of washers, a bolt, and a nut. What you do is you put that washer on one side, slide the bolt through, put another washer, a little washer, Put the nut on the end. Now what's going to happen with that is, once it's in that exhaust port, when you tighten up that nut, it's going to squish this together, expands the foam, which will seal it off very effectively. Feels tight, she's tight. So, next thing we have to do is we have to get the air out of the carter. And to do that, we'll just get the famous gray water out of the road here. To do that, we're going to use a length of automotive fuel line. We're going to stick that in the intake, put some electrical tape. bit of stretch into that tape when you're putting it on so that way you know it's going to seal good. Here we go. Now if this is sealed on the intake, your exhaust is blocked. The only place now that air is going to get into this is through a leak. So, first thing you do is start hauling on it. if you can hear that but I can hear air going in there so seems to be the intake so what you can do is you can haul some air through the hose while you reef on the intake a little bit well seems to have effectively sealed it. Yep. Well, I found my leak very quickly. If you can hear a leak, and you cannot see it. What you're going to want to do is, you're going to want to mix some uh, dish soap, liquid dish soap, with some water, 50-50. Take the liquid dish soap, in the water and paint it along the seams. And instead of sucking on this, you want to blow through the tube to create some pressure in the carter. And then you look along the seams that you painted and you're looking for bubbles to form. Wherever the bubbles are forming, that's where you have your leak. The first thing you want to do if you find a leak, let's say in the base gasket, is you want to just keep blowing some air in there and just slightly refund your head, your head nuts. If the bubbles diminish or they go away, you probably solved your leak. 
If not, you have to change that gasket. You change the gasket, you give another pressure test again, just in case there's somewhere else it's going to leak. On the pressure test, the spy seals probably leak anyway if you blow too much pressure in there because they're made to work in one direction. And that direction is to stop the air from coming in, not from blowing out. Of course, when you have a, a, a motor that was made in the 1970s, early 80s, pretty good chance that those spy seals are about as deteriorated as the tire that you had to replace and it'd be a good idea to plan to, uh, to change them out just a little bit of a pain in the bum to get to them but we can make a video for that too uh, well that's about it for now because this video didn't end up being long because I found the leak right away